Secretary Pompeo citing 20,000 pieces of digital evidence he says shows the Iranian regime's abuses of street protesters and others, saying he and the president are following the deadly protests very closely. Let's bring in Fox News senior strategic analyst General Jack King. Good to have you with us, yeah, sir. Good to see you, Sean. What do you make of the situation that you and I have talked about? Like, it, this is so broad spread, so widespread. The economy is being hit. Their people are taking to the streets. I mean, it's unlike anything we've seen before. In 40 years, there's never been anything like this. There have been demonstrations before 2009 over election fraud in the Capitol, a couple, some demonstrations a couple of years ago to do the economic situation. But this is so widespread, as indicated in the introduction, 170 cities and towns. It's virtually the economy has tanked and it's squeezing the quality of life of everybody but the elites. Everyone is suffering uh, because of it. Uh, you know, food prices, commodity prices are just off off the charts, high unemployment. So that's that's why this has taken place. And it, it would be fine if the Iranians did more than just dominate and control. They do it at the expense of the people. They're not effective government. They're not providing effective services. And they've squandered the money that the Obama administration gave, $130 billion, and did it on foreign wars. So the people are holding them accountable for this. And also, we're having similar demonstrations in the Iranian-backed regime in Lebanon and the Iraqi Shias in Iraq, which is stunning. There's hundreds of thousands of people in Iraq demonstrates against mm -hmm. Iran because of their influence in Iraq, and the government is not effective and not helping the people. So the, it's a common theme, and I believe this regime is beginning to show signs of coming apart mm -hmm. as a result of it. Now, what will they do? Uh, they're, they'll use force to clear the streets, and we've already seen evidence of that. This demonstration will not overthrow the regime. They will fight to the very end for, before that would happen. They're going to do one of two things. They're going to escalate and conduct another military operation, which I think is most likely to disrupt the flow of oil in the Middle East and try to affect the world economy and maybe push it into a world recession is what they're thinking. Or they'll come to the negotiating table. But I don't think they're ready for that. I think we're going to see their playbook and a little bit more violence. I don't believe they'll go after a U.S. target yet. I think the additional troops that we put into the area have deterred them. Mm. But it doesn't mean they would not attack American troops at some point. Mm, given the option. Okay, so this is what one top Iranian commander says, because the Iranians are saying the U.S. and other Western forces are, are backing and fomenting this whole thing. This is what the um, top Iranian commander says. We will not leave any move unanswered. We will not remain indebted to any superpower and will settle scores with all of them. Just wait. It says just wait. They're going to settle the scores and destroy those who would you know, cause or support these issues. They yeah, say this the is typical Iranian uh, rhetoric. They bring out one of their top thug and killers. That's who this guy is, along with Qasem Soleimani. And they blame Americans, they blame Zionists, and they blame the regional Arabs for all of these problems. That has been a pattern line ever since they took over in 1980. And I think it's somewhat hollow. They do not want a war with the United States. That is the end of their regime. The same problem, you know, the North Koreans have. But they truly want to put pressure on the Trump administration to slow down the sanctions and eventually to stop them. That is what creating their chaos is about with disrupting the oil. That is what their military operations are about. That's what they're sabotaging about. But, Shannon, none of that has worked. All of that has failed. So we'll see what they're going to do next. I think it's, it's wonderful to see the administration stand up call these thugs and killers out for who they really are and back the Iranian people. And quickly, do you think there's actually this moment in history we might witness where there is actually the chance for true regime change? I don't think this could produce it um, because the Iranians have the guns and the people don't. Mm -hmm. And they, they kill as many of them as they could before they're going to give that regime up. I, I, I don't see that. And it's not a goal of the administrations either. I think they're very realistic in looking at yeah at this regime. But it doesn't mean we can't change this regime's behavior. And that's what the sanctions is all about. And I think there is a real opportunity out there to do that. Well, and the messaging directly to the Iranian people is so important in this, too. General, thank you for stopping in. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you and all your great crew here.